Welcome to Submerged. This is an exploration game where you play as this young woman here, Miku, who's just arrived in this crumbling and overgrown and flooded city, looking for help for her younger brother, Taku, who's so hurt that he's unconscious and he, he can't do anything for himself. So it's completely up to Miku to find the supplies that she needs to help him. To find the supplies that you need, you can use your spyglass. If you look at anything of interest, such as a supply drop with your spyglass, it'll become marked on your map. So you can take a look at the map here, which for me is completely revealed because I've already finished the game. But obviously when you start, you'll only be able to see what is directly around you or where you've already been. So it'll mark the supply drops on the map, and then you have to go boat over to it and get it. So let's jump in the boat. As you can probably tell, this is an open world game. You can boat wherever you want on this map, and it's pretty large. And there's a lot to see. So if you were just starting the game, there would be some supplies up here. So let me show you what the climbing is like. So climbing is a big part of this game. Supplies are always going to be very high up. And so you're going to have to climb these, these ancient, overgrown buildings to actually get to the supplies. And this is how climbing works. You just look for ledges that you can grab onto. And you just grab them, and uh, <laughs> honestly that's pretty much it. The climbing mechanics are very, very simple. This game doesn't have any real challenge to it. There's no way to die, there's no combat, there's no way to like lose your, your foothold or your handhold when you're climbing and fall or anything like that. So there's no, there's no threat of dying. It's mostly just... Honestly, this game is mostly just about exploring and relaxing, at least for me because there's no way to die or anything like that. It's a very beautiful game. It's wonderful to look at, and I think if you can really get into the world, and if you find it beautiful to play, then I think you're really, really going to like it. Because it just allows you to ease into it and just relax. Because again, there's nothing to fight, there's no challenge, there's no way to die. You can just climb up these buildings and look at the beautiful sights. It's really beautiful. Very, very relaxing. The supply drops are what you need to actually progress the main story of the game. It's what you need to help your brother. But it's not the only thing there is to find in this game. There's a lot more. So, for example, if I climb up here, that will take me to where the supplies would be if I had just started the game. However, every time you climb a building, there's always alternative routes that lead you to secret areas. For example, down here. So if you keep a sharp eye out for any secret ledges to grab onto, then you'll find areas like this, where there would be secrets that you can get. And there's 60 secrets in total. And what the secrets are, are the city story, right here. I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to scroll down and show you all of them. But there's 60 of them, and every time you find a secret, it fills out one of these panels. And so the story of how the city came to be, how it came to be flooded and overrun with plant life, and everything... It's all told through these little pictures. This game has practically no dialogue whatsoever. Almost nobody says a word. So it's pretty much all told just through pictures. Even our story, which tells the story of how exactly Miku and Taku came to be here. How Taku got injured. What happened with their parents. And that's advanced by collecting the supplies. The city's story is filled out by finding the secrets. You can also catalog creatures simply by getting next to a creature, discovering them. And there's also landmarks to find as well. So the only thing you actually have to do is get the supplies. But there's a lot more to do. There's secrets to find. There's creatures to catalog as you're boating around. And it's wonderfully rewarding. And there's even a dynamic weather and, and day-night cycle. Like, as you can see right now, now it's starting to rain, the sun's gone down, it's starting to get dark. And that's all just completely dynamic. There's also boat upgrades to find that allow you to boost your boat for longer. And this is the boost right here. It makes you go really, really fast, and it's really fun. So it's a game that really rewards exploration. There's tons of things to find. There's landmarks, like this Ferris wheel here. There's all sorts of creatures around to find. And there's secrets, too. Like, for example, right here. There'd be a secret up there to get. 
So as you explore around this open world and boat around, there's always going to be something to find. It's really wonderful, and it's so gorgeous. I mean, look at this view. The way the light reflects off the water is just amazing. And let's talk about the boat. So this boat that I'm in right now, the boat is wonderful. You'll probably spend maybe about half your time playing this game um, in the boat. Probably just about as much time in the boat as you do spend playing the character on land, or on solid ground, climbing up buildings and walking around. And so I think the boat is pretty much uh, about as important a character as Miku is. Which is wonderful, because the boat is just a joy to use. It feels great. I don't know how it would be on mouse and keyboard, but I'm using an Xbox 360 controller to control the boat, and it feels beautiful. Especially the force feedback. I'm not used to games really making any good use of force feedback in controllers, but this game really does. Every single time you hit a wave, or if you bump your boat against something like, say, this for example, if you bump against something, or even every time you just hit a wave, you actually feel the force feedback in the controller. So like right here, there we go, and there, and there. Like every time the boat hits the water and makes a little splash noise, there's a bit of feedback in the controller and it just feels wonderful. It just feels so freeing just to, just to uh, use this boat and splash on the waves. Like it really does feel wonderful to control. It's just so fun. Honestly, I like controlling the boat a lot more than I like controlling her when she's climbing. It just feels so wonderful. And there's all sorts of creatures to find, like this dolphin, for example. Look at it. So that's one of the creatures you could catalog if you hadn't already found it. It's so cool. There's just so much to see. You can hang out with the marine life. <laughs> you can climb up buildings, find secrets, find landmarks. All just going around this beautiful world in this wonderful feeling boat. Look, the dolphins even follow you. It's so cool. Ah, it's just wonderful. And honestly, that's about all there is to the game. It's very simple. There's really no challenge for the most part other than maybe finding secrets. If you want to be kind of an achievement hunter and find every single one, as I did, it might get a little bit challenging, especially towards the end. Hello. There's another kind of creature. So there's a bit of challenge in that, but other than that, there's no combat, there's no way to die, or anything of the sort. It's very simple. The climbing mechanics are very simple. You just point in the direction of the thing that you can grab, and you grab it. Simple as that. Boat's very simple to use. There's just forwards, backwards, boost, turn. It's very simple. It's a very simple game. But it's wonderful. It's just lovely. It's so relaxing. And it's beautiful to control, and it's beautiful to look at, and it's beautiful to hear, because the soundtrack's wonderful. It's just a really wonderful game. So if you're the sort of person that can appreciate exploring and beautiful worlds and just inhabiting a place, if that's the sort of thing you like and you're okay with a game that doesn't really have any challenge for the most part, then I think you would really like this game. It's just, it's just lovely. Alright, so that has been Submerged. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, it is available for PC, Xbox One, and PS4, and I'll have some links in the description. Thank you for watching.